Lots of things have happened over the last couple of days. Tuchel has been sacked by Chelsea. Graham Potter has become the new Chelsea boss. Sadly, our Queen Elizabeth II has passed away. And Nathan Jones has been linked to the Brighton job. Welcome back guys to another video here on my YouTube channel and today's video we are going to talk about Nathan Jones and the possibility about him leaving Luton to become Brighton's next manager. Will it happen? So why is Nathan Jones being linked to the Brighton job? Well first he is a former player and he's also a former coach at Brighton but before that Graham Potter has left Brighton and he's now the Chelsea manager. I do think it's a good decision for Chelsea to hire Graham Potter. I thought Potter has done a fantastic job at Brighton. He's achieved above expectations um, since becoming the Brighton boss. In fact, he's actually done it at every club he's been at Potter. And for that, he's got a deserved move to Chelsea. And I do think if he's got the right people around him at Chelsea, like he did at Brighton, he will become a very successful manager at Chelsea and a manager that could actually last longer than a few seasons, which is quite unheard of for a Chelsea boss to do that. But I honestly believe he could actually do that because he's that good of a manager. So because of Potter actually going to Chelsea, that does mean Brighton are in the lookout for a new manager. And in the last, you know, 48 hours, Nathan Jones has been linked to the job. And, you know, I say rightly so because of what he's done at Luton. Now, he's been linked to the job because he is a former coach and he is an, also a former player of Brighton. You know, he had five years at Brighton as a player and then he also had a few years as a coach at Brighton. He was assistant manager. He also took charge of Brighton um, in the championship. He was a manager for them for four games just as a temp, um, just so Brighton could find a new first team boss. He's been under certain Brighton managers, so he knows the club quite well and he has a really good relationship with the board. So that does explain why Nathan Jones has been linked to the Brighton job. But also, he has done a really good job at Luton. So why would this be a really good appointment for Brighton to hire Nathan Jones? I've already mentioned a few points already. Former player, former coach. He's got relationships at Brighton that are already built and already trust. So it could make sense for Nathan Jones to join Brighton for those reasons. You know, he knows the club really well and he has those relationships there, which is understandable. And I completely understand why Brighton may want someone who knows the club to come in. Also, he's done extremely well at Luton. And I just want to point out as well, there's a lot of similarities between Potter and Nathan Jones. Both coaches have achieved above expectations at their current clubs. And both coaches also have a clear understanding on what each other want from those players. You know, I think with Nathan Jones, he wants players that are going to work 100%. He will have that at Brighton. I think, you know, when I look at Luton and when I look at Brighton, there's a lot of similarities between the two clubs. Of course, Graham Potter is a better coach than Nathan Jones. I'm not saying Nathan Jones is the same as Graham Potter. I'm saying there's a few similarities between the two. I do think Potter tactically is a lot better and that's why Potter has succeeded at every single club he's been at. So why would it be a bad move for Nathan Jones to go to Brighton? Now, we are going to talk about Stoke and he's handling of players that are a little bit more high profile. Now, throughout Nathan Jones' time as a manager, he has dealt with players of not top quality. And I'm not disrespecting my club, Luton. He's just, he hasn't dealt with, you know, some players that have played in the Premier League, you know. He's dealt with a few, the odd couple, but he hasn't dealt with a squad that's majority of, of their playing careers have played in the Premier League. He hasn't had that. He had it at Stoke. And it didn't quite work out. Now, for a number of reasons, it didn't work out at Stoke. You know, I don't think he had the right people around him at Stoke for him to succeed. He had money at Stoke. So the money factor isn't the reason why he didn't succeed. Uh, maybe the players he brought into Stoke wasn't quite the right players to bring in. That had an effect. But for me, something's not right at Stoke. And I don't think Nathan Jones should be judged on what happened at Stoke. And the reason for that is because three managers have been the Stoke manager in the last, you know, five years. Nathan Jones, Gary, Gary Rowett, and also Michael O'Neill. All three managers have been successful at certain clubs, and yet they go to Stoke and they're not successful. So something for me isn't right at Stoke City Football Club, and that's the reason why I don't think it's fair to judge Nathan Jones on that. But if you actually put that aside, I don't think it's the right time now for Nathan Jones to join Brighton. I think Brighton, for me, are now a club that they're not they're not a team that's, you know, staying up every season in the Premier League. 
there are a team that's actually a very solid mid-table Premier League side which are trying to push for those European places. And I do think they would have done that under Potter if he stayed at the football club, you know. He does, he probably needed a little bit more money in order to do so, but the recruitment side of things at Brighton, you know, it's so smart the way they do things, you know. Just like at Luton, they bring in players that, you know, achieve above expectations. You know, when you look at the analytics on these players, the data, when they sign these players, you know, it's really good and it excites you. And that's why Brighton have done really well. So right now, Brighton are in a situation where I feel like they are a solid mid-table Premier League side. So I feel like the when they look for a new manager, I feel like they're going to look for a manager who has dealt with high-profile players before, who's got a track record of achieving above expectations with players that maybe are not considered you know the best in the league and i feel like they they're looking for a more high i feel like they just want a more high profile manager and i do think like the likes of brendan rogers although he isn't doing too well at leicester right now i do think that is an ideal appointment for brighton i do i do highly rate brendan rogers as a coach i think he's done extremely well but i just think right now at leicester um because of the balancing of the books situation there it's not quite working out and he's paying the price for it. But I feel like the structure which Brian has, it could really help someone like Brendan Rodgers, um, you know, continue what he's done as a coach, you know, which is, he, I feel like he has done extremely well for Leicester. So I feel like if they're looking for a coach that's going to, you know, close that gap to those European places, I do think Rodgers is the right type of guy for that. Is Nathan Jones the right type of guy for that? No, because he's not done that before. Don't get me wrong, if Brighton was to take Nathan Jones, I do think he would do a good job, but I don't think he would do the job which Brighton, I think, wants and their vision. I think Brighton's vision is to obviously move up that Premier League table and push for those European places. I don't think Nathan could do that. I think Nathan could keep him up and keep Brighton a solid Premier League side for years and years and years. But to take Brighton to the next stage, I don't know if he's the man for it. Overall, it's going to be a tough decision for Brighton, whoever they pick, to replace Potter. Because Potter was such a great manager. You know, he was unbelievable. He's one of the best in the league, in my opinion. And now he's at Chelsea and he's going to have a lot more money. And he's working with a lot more high-profile players. If he can obviously repeat what he's done at Brighton with Chelsea, Chelsea will be competing with Man City Liverpool quite easily um, because I think Potter's up there in the tactical, you know, sense of Pep Guardiola, um, Jose Mourinho, Angelotti, Jurgen jo Klopp. I think he's up there and he's that intelligent and his relationship with the players, with people around him is the reason why he's been so successful throughout his whole career. So it is a, it is a hard decision to make on who to replace him with, but I just don't think right now Nathan Jones is the man to replace him. Um, I think Nathan, in order for Nathan Jones to get that Brighton job, I honestly believe he has to get Luton promoted to the Premier League in order for him to be considered a serious candidate for the role. But I could be wrong, and I have been wrong in the past, but for me, I don't have any feeling that Nathan would leave anytime soon. So that's my reasoning on why I don't think Nathan Jones will go to Brighton. But guys, let me know in the comment section of the video. Um, do you think Nathan Jones will leave to go to Brighton? Obviously, we do have the Bournemouth um, you know, position up for grabs. So Bournemouth could be a club that come in for Nathan Jones. Who knows? But right now, I think Nathan Jones is... He's got life good at Luton, and I don't think he would leave just yet. But that, those are just my opinions. Um, but drop, drop a like, guys, if you did enjoy listening to my thoughts about Nathan Jones potentially leaving Luton to join Brighton. Obviously, as I've said already, drop your um, thoughts down below in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We make football, plenty of football videos, Luton and Championship content. So, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.